to to kind of uh, be able to be a part of the, the American Express uh, 2K22 experience uh, was something that I was really excited about because obviously, you know, continuing to, to grow the game for myself for the WBA is something that's super important. But you know, it's it's areas where I'm able to kind of uh, really relate them to, to my own life. Being an MX card holder, uh, being someone who likes to play 2K, and you know, just come here and be able to have the best of both worlds is an amazing experience. And I think it's it's huge for for MX to continue to kind of. Uh, gain fan support, grow grow the game for 2K, for the NBA, for the WNBA. When you play 2K with your friends, do you talk trash? Yes, of course. Of course I talk trash. Um, especially, I mean, I hit like a, a three, right, in PG's face, and I had some, some pretty good dunks. I mean, he got the better version of me, but uh, you have to talk trash when you're playing the game. Who's the best trash talker on your team besides you? The best trash talker on my team? Uh, probably Epiphany Prince. She, uh, she's a, a Brooklyn native, New York native. Uh, and she definitely can, can talk trash. The WNBA has made some wrinkles to the schedule, the playoff format. What else would you like to see adjusted, overhaul, tweaked? Uh, I was really happy with the, the playoff format changing. I think that, you know, it was really tough to, to play a, a first-round game and have it be single elimination and know that your season is over like that. Um, so to be able to, to have more opportunity to kind of uh, fight for your team, gain, gain viewership, gain fans, uh, it's, it's going to be great. And I think that, you know, the WNBA is on the right path with the new CBA, and I, I just can't wait to watch it continue to grow with you know, all the benefits we're getting on and off the court. What's been the most unexpected, the coolest thing about becoming a mom? Uh, I mean, the most unexpected thing about becoming a mom, well, I was expecting not to sleep, but she, she sleeps really well during the night. So that was one of the most unexpected things. Um, and then the coolest thing is, is just being able to watch her grow every single day. She just turned four months and you know, she's babbling up a storm. What are these sneakers? These sneakers are a part of the High Court Collective um, by June Ambrose. Uh, it's the first, um, I guess, drop of Puma Women's Basketball. Uh, so I just got them recently. It's my first time wearing them. Uh, but Puma is really getting behind women in sports, women's basketball, and uh, I'm excited to kind of see where we go. What should fans look forward to seeing in your signature shoe that's coming up next year? Uh, what fans should look forward to seeing in my signature shoe is the fact that it's going to be a, a versatile, comfy shoe, something that you can wear on and off the court and, and can be worn by everybody. And, you know, every detail in the shoe is there for a reason. What age were you when you really became a sneakerhead? When I became a sneakerhead, I was... I probably was in like seventh, seventh, eighth grade. I remember being on on my phone or my parents' phone and like trying to buy these shoes on Foot Locker before they uh, before they sold out. Uh, and I remember just, what they were. I remember one pair was um, the what the Lebrons. I don't know. I just wanted them because I wanted to wear them in, in during my high school season, but just trying to get whatever I could from the, the latest releases on, on Saturday or Sunday morning. Please. What is your favorite cheat day food? My favorite cheat day food? Cheese pizza. I love pizza. And where do you go? Um, I get it. Rocco's in Seattle. If I'm in Seattle, I go to Rocco's. 